Well, we're back here again with Linux Deepin is a privacy nightmare, bordering on the line of spyware. This all started with Linux Deepin version 15.5, which automatically sent data to their website CNZZ, which is a tracking website in China, and it was built into the App Store or Update Manager as well. So how have things changed in version 15.6? Uh, very interesting this time around. It's no longer built into the Update Manager, but it is still within the App Store. And it does still send data. Depending whether or not you have used NoTrack on your network, so NoTrack is a method of DNS blocking, which is a project I've been working on for some time, cnzz.com and the website mmstat.com, which Linux Deepin communicates with, and it communicates within the App Store. And this is plain as day that tracking is occurring due to the fact that NoTrack has blocked that connection from that system at the time I was in the App Store. Like, there is absolutely no denying this connection takes place. But have Linux Deeping disclosed the fact they are taking this information? No, they have not. And do we have an idea of the information they're taking? Well, we're, well one of the items they're looking at is a tracking pixel. We have an ID here which is referring to Linux Deepin. It is not unique to your system, but what is unique to your system is the fact they're displaying screen sizes. Uh, user agents, well, that's going to be the user agent in the App Store, the place you were at, the App Store, some information which is disclosing the fact of where you are in the world due to it displaying the time zone and times. And this information is sent in plain text. In other words, it can be viewed by anyone. Anyone collecting data on your network or the internet in China. So Linux Deepin put out a statement just after I made my accusation with the last YouTube video. And they tried to fob off the fact that no, they're not actually collecting data at all. But the fact they're using a third party tracker built into their product, this is not like an optional thing I have of going to their website or not, or going to a specific website or not. No, if you're using that operating system, it is built into it. So even if they're not collecting particularly much data as a first party, their third party data collection is potentially collecting more than they realize and sending it off to more places than they realize due to the fact it is not encrypted. So let me show you the data that I have collected over the network. So I've disabled NodeTrack and booted up this virtual machine of Linux Deepin version 15.6. Looking at DNS queries or domain name queries, we can see a query to debian.pull.ntp.org. That's fine. That's just for the computer to synchronize its time. That is an essential item that is needed. Nothing to do with tracking at all. So now let's go and open up the App Store. This is where the tracking is inserted into. So open up the App Store and we have a query with cnzz. And then we have a subsequent query to cnzz.mmstat.com. These are two tracking websites. Then we have queries to appstore.deepin.org. And that one's fine, no problems with that query at all. Let's just move that window across slightly. Where's it gone? There it is. And if I click on information about a package, again, we see the queries to cnzz, deepin.org. And then we see some queries where it's going to get the images from, so the app aiun.com and the api.deepin.org. So yeah, a couple of those queries are fine. CNZZ, no. So in regards to the communication, we can see a download of a HTML page. Uh, well, actually quite a long JavaScript. The next item is this .htm page with refer of appstore.deepin.org. Anything else here? Well, we have this tracking pixel with this data being sent. Then the last thing I've really got to like is when you close the App Store, you get further data sent to CNZZ. So that was the behavior of Linux Deepin if it has never seen blocking with no track. But there is quite a difference if Linux Deepin has seen the blocking on its first time run. So this is a fresh install with Linux Deepin with no track enabled. Well, let's take a look at the App Store now. And sure enough, we still see the request to CNZZ. But that will fail to make its connection due to the fact it'll be sync holds to the NoTrack server. So it still attempts to make the connection, but gets blocked. Now I'm going to go back with NoTrack in the disabled state. So just going to pause the blocking. We'll reset the packet capture. And yeah, just continue without saving. And once again, I'm going to open the App Store. Well, that's interesting. It hasn't even made an attempt to go to CNZZ this time. Yeah, there's nothing stopping it. NoTrack's disabled.
this behavior seems to stay in place for two days and then it reverts back to communicating with CNZZ. So as long as you stop that connection every couple of days, it won't actually try again. That's very strange. It's almost like you're trying to hide yourself from your illicit purposes. And yet, if I just close the App Store, no subsequent connection to CNZZ, like we had earlier. I find it most interesting the fact that the behaviour changes depending whether or not Linux Deepin has seen no track at a specific point. It is almost like they've built an operating system to respond to the anti-tracking mechanisms I have in place. Because the first time I saw it, I thought, oh look, you're only sending it once, oh that's not too bad at all, and was almost going to congratulate them on the fact that they're barely doing any tracking now. But when I investigated further, it's like, yeah, hang on a minute, you are behaving differently under certain conditions. And you're worse than Windows 10. At least Microsoft just blindly sends packets to their tracking collection over and over again. This is the first time I've actually seen something respond to the presence of a mechanism to block tracking. I did see some comments from Chinese users saying that they were happier to be tracked by a Chinese service compared to an American service, and to that extent I would have to agree, although I'd rather go for the option of not being tracked at all. You know, I have to ask what are Linux Deep in doing with all these results? Are they going to publicize them publicly like Ubuntu have done? You know, it's fair enough. Ubuntu have gone down the route of data collection services, but they are at least displaying the results. And they are doing a first party data collection, so at least they know what is being collected. As much as I was against Ubuntu data collection for what it could turn into in its current state, yeah, it's not too bad. So should you continue to use Linux Deepin? Well, that's entirely your choice. You could continue to do so by blocking these specific domains with cnz.com and mmstat.com. You could block them in the slash etc slash hosts file or run no track or just go without and do what you want. <laughs> your choice entirely. Thanks for watching. See you all later. <laughs>